Hello everyone, this is Sam from Happy Scrappy. Hi, I um, actually got a, a lot of comments on my Instagram saying that I would like to see my planner set up and also yeah, to see how I actually use my planners. And as you know, I actually have um, four planners at the moment for um, maybe five. I have another Starbucks. So these are all my four planners and my Midori Traveler's Notebook. Um, yeah, the question is how do I actually manage all of them? Um, in actual fact, I don't use all of them. Yeah, I have a set of inserts and then I swap the inserts to different binders. So at the moment, I'm only using these three, my Midori, which is my normal rambling, like my diary, and then my final facts, which is my daily planning, and also my Kiki K. At the moment, I just found a new meaning for my planner, which I'm going to use it as my stationary um, edit, um, stationary, stationary swatch chart, like the pens that I use, what colors I have, how much I paid for them, and and so on. So I haven't do any divider for this, and I'm, when I'm done, I will definitely show you guys here. Then now let's look at my file of X. Uh, this is my very first file of X. Uh, it's a file of X original personal size in yellow. Um, this color is actually already discontinued. Okay. So I want to tell you what I like and dislike about this planner. This planner is actually uh, a very luxurious, very pretty planner in bright yellow color which I really really like. Um, and also I like that this panel when you open up, it really lays flat. Not like the Kiki K. Uh, I need to do a bit, a little bit of training to bend it backwards so that it will lay flat. I can actually stuff quite a lot of stuff. Looking, uh, although it looks smaller than the case bed, you can tell that the case bed is actually way bigger than it, right? And yeah, but surprisingly, the file of facts can actually can actually um, stuff more more papers and more nonsense than my case bag. And there are things that I don't like about this plan planner. It's a very pretty yellow, but the thing is it gets stained and dirty easily as well. So normally when I bring it out, when I need to keep it in a dust bag and then only I keep it in the bag to prevent it from getting dirty. So the other thing that I don't like about this planner is the card slot or the pockets. I don't use them at all because I do not want to slot things in and out and actually stain this part of the ladder. And also this part of the pockets is actually not practical at all. I would say it's a pain to slot things in and out. And the pen loop is a pain. I don't understand why they don't actually put a pen loop on the right hand side and because most of us are right handed and then the thing is it's so okay when I slot the pen in and close the 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 planner it, it actually cause a gap here you can see that right and yeah it take a bit of strength to actually stretch the straps and close it so it's actually quite not practical to have that so i don't normally don't normally put any pens here anyway i have my pencil case that i put all my pens because i always use more than one pens okay and in regards to my planner it's actually not properly set up yet um i'm using diy fish inserts here which is this section which i have only printed out one week which is last week and this week inserts i haven't printed them out yet i I was too busy and uh, with other things. Okay, I will just show you what is, um, <laughs> which is an organized mess in this planner here. Okay, first page is actually an overlay by Studio Calico. Um, it's a four by six project life card, so it doesn't really fit exactly for the personal size. But yeah, I didn't bother, but it just looks kind of cute as an overlay or the cover to protect my my dividers and this is the first page of my divider the cover is actually just a piece of pattern paper that I laminated it and punch hole with my 
paper punch here. This is the paper punch. Um, I think they call this the Rakuten punch. PU462. But I didn't get it from Rakuten. I got it from my local bookstore, Kino Kuniya in Singapore. It's about... I think it costs lesser than 30 US dollar. And then, yeah, this is the cover page. Then after that, that would be my little boy photos on this page. I just printed some extra photos, so I just put it on here. And this is the first dashboard that I have all my target sticky notes that uh, all my Instagram friends send, send to me. So I always use the little page flags which I think is very practical and I love the colors mint and pink is my favorite colors and here this um, this dashboard is actually from my happy planner kit this month yeah it's called hello bunny because we have a cute bunny here and this kit uh, is what I want to show you today because it's, um, it's something special um, that we actually coordinated the team and also the design of the sticky notes and then we put it on a dashboard, pop it in on into your planner, then you can start using it. And whenever you decorate your planner, right, you actually have um, coordinated colors. And this mine color is pastel and pink. Yes, I love pink colors. And, and also coordinated theme, which we have flowers, florals, and also bunnies and some cute animals for this, this month theme. So... I actually have a cheat sheet here for, for me to tell you more about this Happy Planner kit. So for this Happy Planner, you actually have, um, this is the personal size. We have another one is the A5 size, which I will show you later. So you get about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 different designs of um, sticky memos. And there are about 90 sheets of sticky memos here. And also, there are five different indication stickers. This is the very sought after indication stickers that everyone has been asking me when do I actually bring them in or I have stocks again. I saw out on the very first day in my shop. So, yeah, this is the indication stickers. So, this is the design that we actually included in the, in the kit. So, you actually get half, half of the half pack of these indication stickers here then after my dashboard will be another piece of cover I to sandwich them so that I don't I don't ruin the sticky memos then you can see that I'm still using my Kate Spade and my Kiki K inserts I will tell you why the very first planner that I use is actually the Kiki K planner so I actually use their inserts until May, the month of May. Then after that, I got my pink case bed, my pink case bed here. Then I started using the case bed inserts from June onwards. So this part is actually from the Kiki K planner. Then June, I I was I'm using the case bed. I actually like the case bed because um, the month on two pages is actually followed by the week on two pages. So you actually can just look at the month, then you flip it over, then you, you will see the week on two pages. So this is my month on two pages and I actually didn't decorate much. I think I don't <laughs> overly decorate my my planner. And do you see this cute um, color pencil doodling? It's actually not by color pencil. Actually, something like um, Deco Rush. Let me show you what is it. It's actually more. It's called Moji Liner that I got from Tokyo. A bunch of them. This is the Moji Liner. So basically, you just um, just use them as correction tape. Then you can just roll them. Just roll on it. Then you will see the the color pencil do a drawing so it's very cute and it's very convenient so what I did here is that I actually um, write on it first then I use the moji liner to highlight so for this one the blue color is actually for my son he has um, a baby class a baby play role on every Thursday and the yellow green is actually for my assignments my scrapbooking assignments here 
then yeah flip it over then there will be my wig on two pages that i was trying to use some color coding which apparently doesn't work for me the color coding i think because i actually have too many colors and i don't even remember which color is for who and for what so i actually sort of ditch the color coding system and i just randomly add some sticky notes for for my week on two pages we've been recommending diy fish inserts so i think i was thinking hey why not give it a try so i actually bought the july august and september trial for the diy fish um i think it's version 2.2 inserts then then I printed them out. Then when I was printing and asking Fish for more information about the inserts, so I was thinking why not I I should go ahead and buy the June insert as well so that I can start you printing them out and start using them immediately. So here I am with the June inserts. It took me like three, four trials to get right. It was quite disastrous. Yeah, I actually didn't fill up my monthly chart here because um the monthly is already written on the key uh the case bait inserts so my monthly chart is actually blank maybe one day when i have time i will sit down and fill up the chart and yeah practice on how to use it the week 23 and 24 is actually empty because when i printed out it's already on week 25 so it's no point writing on week 23 and 24 right so this is the week 25 that i have here and on the weekly review, I actually just put my most important um, things that I have to do that week, like block schedule, assignment due dates, um, um, my traveling itinerary, because sometimes I actually travel back to Singapore quite often, and also um, my father-in-law's birthday, and it was a swimming day last Sunday. So... This is the weekly review and here I actually leave it blind because I don't know what to write. I haven't figured out yet. Then this is the day on two pages. I love, love, love the day on two pages because it has so much room that I think maybe I do not need a A5 size anymore. So, so these are the day on two pages. And yeah, the day on two pages, I actually cover this part out. So what I use for this um, is actually this part I use for quotes, uh, just random quotes, maybe, um, or sometimes I will just do the with my different pens, just trying different pens here. And then this one is the to-do list for my shops. I think this side of the to-do list is too tiny. When I don't have enough space, sometimes I will just overlap to this part for my shop to-do list. And these are the to-do list for my daily. I don't know why I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I still have tons of things to do. Maybe I'm just a big fat procrastinator. And this part is the appointments. Sometimes I will just write down uh, when did I went wake up and when did he go to sleep. And also his daily progress like the, uh, on last Tuesday, he actually learned to drink with straw, and also, yeah, I actually write down, write down this part of the day, which is I am actually doing a sixty-two days flashcard program with Ivan. So this is day two, so I need to write it down so that I don't remember, uh, don't forget about uh, which day I'm at at the moment. Tuesday, Wednesday, and just random do the doodle and sticky notes and I don't have much that day or maybe I was too busy and I didn't write much here and this one is the blog post that I've already scheduled uh, the pen reviews and this one I actually make it a bit more colorful so I just do the with the pens and add some colorful reinforcement rings um, which are currently available in the shop right now I will link it down below my big Carta website and then yeah sometimes I will just do some basic stamping and yeah just random doing quotes shops to do daily uh, appointments if I have any normally I don't have much appointment and then my to-do list or what I've already spent and things like that and yeah so this is the 
day on two pages so i could foresee that if i printed out the whole month of the day on two pages it's going to be quite bulky um, which i will only keep maybe one month or two months here then moving on will be my shop stuff the order that i have and then the to-do list i think i'm going to take out this portion because the to-do list is basically on a day on two pages i i'm not going to use this section anymore and then this part will be the expenses and finances which i'm not going to show here then my wish list which is my shopping list i took them out because it's too long i'm thinking of migrating somewhere else maybe to another planner then just random cards and um, random project life card that i have laminated and added some watercolor painting and then the last one will be my assignments every month i actually have at least 15 to 18 assignments to do from my different teams i'm currently on at least six or seven design teams so i need to write down the due date the deadline for each assignment and uh, whether i need to email them blog about them or post them on gallery like two piece in a bucket or studio calico so this is where i actually keep track of my assignment and then this one this section this is actually an old cover for one of my planner so i actually planning to use this section to write down ideas that I want to uh, put on my blog my, uh, or do a videos or maybe do a tutorials then I'll, I'll put it on this section at the moment it's actually random so there's nothing much on the planner right now and I have this section here this is the pouch that I got from my local bookstore Kino Kunia, which I actually use it to keep my current happy planner kit all the loose items from the happy planner kits which is like the reinforcement rings um masking stickers in pastel and then the heart shape market stickers so it's actually quite handy i will just slot everything in and the dashboard uh, into the front page then i just bring this out and with my watermelon pencil case then I'm, I can actually just do my planning on, on this planner everywhere with this simple kit. So, just let me put this back again. And this one is actually um, a folder, a plastic folder that I got from Daiso. And I added the little stickers that I watercolor. So, previously it actually holds the color coding text that I have. And but at the moment I didn't use any color coding because I don't remember which color I use and I think I actually incorporate too many colors so I just keep it here first. Um, not sure what to do with them. For this um these plastic folders is actually from this pack of clear holder B6 size from Daiso. Um. It's actually two dollar, two dollar thing for sixteen of them. It's actually bigger than the personal size. So what I did, I just trim it down, use my circle punch to punch it, and then use the use the puncher to punch the holes and slot them in. So it's actually quite useful and quite easy to make your own clear folder for your for your file effects. So now moving on, I'm going to show you what is actually in the happy planner kit the size kits right you actually get all these items from the kit um at twelve dollars and ninety nine cent plus shipping so first of all you will get a dashboard with nine designs of um sticky memos and half pack of indication stickers so yeah this is the dashboard that you can actually pop it right into your file of facts or post, um planner then you can start using it then it comes with um, two sheets of reinforcement rings in polka dots in blue and green colors then um, seven sheets of masking stickers in pastel color a sheet of um, puffy stickers um, in bunny with different emotions 
then two paper clips in human and animal design a pen a multicolor pen with um, black blue green and it's not actually green it's actually teal color and red color ball pen and a sheet of rainbow color um, market stickers two binders large and small size and two handmade um, bowl clip which is really cute and the masking stickers so for $12.99 you should get this and I think it should be more than enough for you to decorate your planners for a month and now let's look at what we have for the A5 size kits right let me show you So this is the A5 size kits. Let me open up so you won't see just the glare. Okay, this is the A5 size kits that you will actually get about also nine designs of sticky memos and half pack of indication stickers. The design of the indication stickers is actually different from the personal size. The personal size is actually more pink. And this one is actually have um, polka dots and blue colors. And I really, really like this little cheeky here for, for the post-it notes. Then you will get uh, some rainbow pastel color sticky memos, which is actually quite useful. Uh, you can use it as page flags or you can use it to highlight events of the day or to-do list. And other than that, you will also get... The same thing you will actually get a sheet of puffy stickers in bunny as well and then uh, you will get a deco rush deco rush in can you see the design here deco rush in flower design yeah in different color flower design okay maybe you will see better here and this is the flower design for this deco rush, I really really love to use deco rush and also it comes with a pen, a cute bean pen and two sheets of market stickers in rainbow colors, the circle one and the heart one and two sheets of uh, reinforcement stickers. This one is the plain one with the polka dots. So just the green and the blue and we have additional items for the kit as well. So this comes with the kit. Um, also for this kit, you will get two two handmade bows in blue and pink colors. And the other thing that you you will get here that will be flower shaped paper clips. You get three of these and. A row of washi tapes in pastel color and um, a paper clip then you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten about 13 sheets of masking stickers and this is what you will get uh, for uh, an A5 size kit at $15.99 so same for the dashboard kit the A5 size um, you, we have already punch hole that you can actually just pop right in into your planner or file of facts and start using it, start decorating your your planner with the kit. So ordinated team and colors will actually make um, make um, decorating your planners easier and also uh, more fun. Save you some time to actually look around for matching colors and products for for your planner. So moving on, we actually have um, add-on, which is a personal size dashboard as well with cute little garden theme um, post-it notes, uh, sticky memos, and also it comes with a sheet of um, puffy stickers in cute bunny. These are really, really cute. I think they look quite grumpy. <laughs> this is the first add-on we call it secret garden and then the second add-on will be bunny friends so for bunny friends again you will get another 
dashboard in personal size and you get really really cute animal design um sticky memo you get a uh, cat sheep and also flowers chickens and leaves and you will get a sheet of bunny stickers and another sheet of um epoxy bunny stickers so this will be the add-on to bunny friends secret, secret garden bunny friends and the last add-on the third add-on is actually handmade by me the bunny rules the ruler that you can actually pop right into your planner and it comes with plushy clip that i actually um handmade so i will show you how it actually looks like on the planner itself so actually cut little slit here what you can do you can just open up and say this page is the important page you can just slot it in so there you go so you will see you will see it's actually longer than the interest then you can actually just flip over over and this is your ruler other than the add-on we actually have some store items that actually go with the kits we have these cute sheets post-it notes if you didn't get the the add-ons you can actually considering getting this one the cute little sheep and chicken um, sticky mammals and also you can get the masking sticker set if you really like the masking stickers we actually have a set um, this is a pack of 27 sheets in different pastel colors in blue, pink, mm, yellow color, polka dots, checkers, um, cute little hearts in all different pastel color in a pack. So these are basically what we actually have in store right, uh, right now. And yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, Remember to leave in the comment down below and let me know what you think of the Happy Planner Kit. And at the moment, um, I actually have a special discount code. I actually packed about 15 grab bag, which is worth about $17, $18. Then I'm going to sell it at $8.99 plus shipping. All you need to do is to key in the discount code. I will actually state it down below. Then you just punch in your discount code in the big kata when you check out to get the $8.99 special, special promotion rate. Alright, and this is the Happy Planner Kit for this month. I will see you again. Bye-bye.